Good morning, Democrats. You guys sound almost as tired as I am. Let's try that again. Good morning, Democrats. Are there Democrats in the House? Well, I'd like to, that's a little better, by the way. I'd like to start by shouting out to a group of wonderful high school students who are joining us this morning from Shelhevet High School and here in Los Angeles. Welcome, stand up guys. This is their first, this is their first political convention and I wanna make sure that you all make them feel at home and make them feel welcome. I can't, I can't sit here and look at the work that Democrats do and feel negatively about it. I can't sit here and look at the tremendous success that Democrats have had in California and say that things are terrible. I look at what we have accomplished in the last four years since we elected Jerry Brown and an entire slate of Democrats to lead this state, and I don't feel negatively. And I feel that if we let ourselves be buried in this conventional wisdom and negativity, we will have no possibility of success. I feel like we sometimes turn ourselves in on ourselves and forget to really see what it is we do. The great Rabbi Hillel said in Ethics of Our Fathers, if I am not for me, who will be for me? But if I am just for me, then who am I? And if not now, when? Well, what does that mean? It means we have to look out for ourselves, but we must look out for everybody around us. It means we must remember to take hold of every single moment, because if not now, when? That is what we should walk out of here with, remembering that we have had extraordinary successes, even though we have so much further to go. It is true that once and for all, we have to end fracking here in California. But it is also true, it is also true that one million individuals now have health care in California because of the Affordable Care Act and covered California right here in California. It is true that kids who were starved out of being able to go to the University of California or the California State University can now do so because Speaker John A. Perez wrote the Middle Class Scholarship Act. We can't win if we don't remember the good things we do. If we are endlessly locked into negativity, we lose. You see, there's three ways you win elections. You win elections by scaring people. You win elections by making people frightened and angry. And you win elections by giving hope. Think about the three major Democratic presidents elected in the last 50 years. John Kennedy, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama. Each of them was elected on a platform of hope. We win when we give hope to the people, not when we give anger to people, not when we give fear to people. We have to remember the good things that we're doing each and every day, and we have to take time to give ourselves that. So the conventional wisdom the conventional wisdom will be that Democrats won't vote in November, because after all, it's a non-presidential year. The conventional wisdom will be that Democrats just don't care. The conventional wisdom will be that once again, we'll fall flat on our faces. Well, Democrats in California defied expectations in 2010, we defied expectations in 2012, and with each and every one of your help, we're gonna defy expectations again in 2014. But I need to know that every person in this room is committed to that. I want to know that every one of you is going to go out and fight. That every one of you is going to be like the Latino caucus and make thousands and thousands of phone calls. We can't win if you don't do it. Democrats win when we look voters in the eyes, when we speak to them from our hearts, when we relate to them as one human being to another. Not from the corporate agenda, not from the angry agenda, but from the hopeful agenda, from the possible agenda, from the what we can do agenda, 
So I need each of you with me because we can do it. We can stay successful. We can stay the leaders. California can again be the big blue beacon of hope for all of America, but it's the California Democratic Party and all of you that will lead the way. Thank you.